So you basically ploughed in on top of the coral shelf. Both keels are sitting flat on the on the coral. Yeah, it's not moving. It's like everybody's worst nightmare right now. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community where folks come together to take the next step in their creative journey. We're out foiling, and it's excellent. Nikki and Jason Wynn have decided to come with us. Perfect conditions. Uh -huh. oh. 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 I tell you a story about me and you. After two weeks in quarantine, we were officially diagnosed COVID-free and got checked into Fiji. Finally, finally. Finally in. So now our only risk is what do we do for cyclone season? Yeah. And that should be no big thing because I bet Australia opens up and... and uh, Does the same kind of yeah. deal as here. Yep. Anna used to do this. She this did. was Anna's job. No. Anna's not here doing her cue flag. No. Right. Hey. I like being in quarantine though. Surrender, surrender. <laughs> Am I off the bottom? Oh, it's really cool! Fiji is one of the first countries to open their borders to tourists since the pandemic shut the world down back in March. At this time, boats are permitted to enter one at a time after appropriate quarantine and safety measures are taken. So the tourism industry is still pretty dormant. Very few restaurants are open, shops are still closed, and cruise tours are shut down. For more information on how to get into Fiji and help revive their tourism economy, click on the link in the top right hand corner where we share the exact information you need to bring your boat in safely and lawfully. After fueling, we spend a day or two getting provisioned up in dinner out. Okay. We are at the, what's this market called? The Nadi Market? The Nandi Market. This place is huge and got everything. 
Wonderful market. These are Fijian produce bags. And I'll show you. you. Tie the end so that it doesn't fall out. Because I watched the little produce uh, lady do it. <laughs> Look at there. Look at there. And you get your produce. Whatever you want. And she weighs it and puts a sticker on it. Pretty clever, huh? Pretty clever. Look at that. <laughs> Easy style. Easy style. After meeting up with our friends Brian and Robin from Renegade and Jason and Nikki from Gone with the Winds, who are currently homeless in Fiji until Tonga opens up and they can get back to their boat, we all headed out to Musket Cove to anchor and play for a few days. They're kiting, but it looks like a guy has um, potentially hit the reef out there because we can see that he's on his side. So anyway, we uh, oh we're gonna God. go check on him and see. I don't know. See if we need to help him out. Holy so. crap! Okay. Go. Pan, 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 pan. We have a uh, catamaran on the reef at the entrance to Musket Cove. This is the sailing yacht for Uanua. For Uanua. If we have a recovery vessel anywhere nearby, please respond. there's a big balmy and he's worried about it puncturing through the side of the hole so that's what we're trying to figure out if there's something we can do about that now they're both in the water yeah. but if we can make sure that he doesn't get his hole punctured that's good so we don't want him with a hole in the boat all right right behind you all right rock removal there's a piece of loose coral here that he's got that rope around? I can pull it. You can pull it better yeah. than I can. I can hook it to your cleat right here and you can back it off of it. No worries. Okay, okay. cool. So I'll just bring her up in the bit. We're gonna pull the rope in your arm pinna. Yeah, I'm just gonna get up with the bit. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not moving. If he gets through this without getting a hole. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's worst nightmare right now. Oh my gosh, I know. I could, I can't believe it. We were sailing with Tana Malika a few years ago and we were two days ahead of them. We just got a call and she was like, We just hit a reef, our boat's done. I was like, You're kidding. Uh -uh. It's like, Yeah. Didn't see the reef. Yeah, that's moving. That's moving. It is moving. Woo! All right. Ah, great success. Nicely done. Back it up. Okay, got it. Okay, so what happened is he was sailing in here, missed the missed the green marker out there, flipped a, a bommy, dropped his sails because he is by himself. And uh, by the time he grabbed hold of the motor, he surfed onto onto the roof fully. So he basically ploughed in on top of the coral shelf. Both keels are sitting flat on the on the coral. There was one boulder that got knocked off and was sticking up under the centre of the hole, but we have been able to uh, pull that out of the way. So that's, it should be fine. It doesn't look like Still there's any okay. other damage. High tide, that's nice. High tide, winch sideways. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let's hope, let's hope. Yeah. We all waited out the next four hours for the tide to rise in the hopes he would easily float off the reef without problems. Yeah. Hey Finn, will you uh, kind of cover up the food and stuff? 
Okay. We're gonna go rescue somebody off of the What? Are you going to dinner? I'm eating dinner. Oh, alright. Uh, we clean up too. We clean up. Oh yeah. In the kitchen. Alright, let's go rescue a boat. Or at least film a rescue. It's just me and you. No no, Nikki's coming. Alright. And you, you have no water coming in? Follow me, Charlotte! Just follow us! Here's the hero. Oh, was he off when uh, you got yeah. there? Yeah, he was off. He, he got go. off by himself. Wasn't that fantastic? Yep. You know, that was a and good feeling. Yeah, oh, I couldn't he, believe it when we got there. I'm and so he was already moving. He didn't moving have a hole in his boat. Oh, shit. Man. Oh, I think that video that I watched on Skillshare on the drone camera settings is making this a whole lot better. Yeah, the footage was really good. Yeah. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but Keith is getting really good at flying the drone. And that's thanks to something we recently learned about called Skillshare. They're an online community offering literally thousands of classes where people just like me and you can explore new skills or just get better at something. Keith is devouring this aerial videography class. It's run by the guys who own Wild Rabbit Productions, and it's just short step-by-step -step lessons. They're only like three or four minutes each on how to get professional looking drone footage. A Skillshare membership is less than 10 bucks a month, so you get way more bang for your buck than anywhere else we've found. With new classes being offered regularly, and the fact there are no ads, you can stay focused on what's important to you and keep moving forward in your learning career. All right, guys, here it is. The first thousand of you to hop over to the link in the description will get a two month free trial so you can get started on that one thing you've always wanted to do. What's going on out here? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm sending Anna some really stupid photos. Wow. <laughs> the, you know, I don't know. I miss my little adult. And I'm playing on the switch, waiting for the wind to pick up, which I don't think it's going to do. It's been quite good. I've been sitting in front when of When I tried to foil yesterday, I did foil yesterday. I did, twice. I did really good. She did really good. We're proud of her. We're really proud of her. Me and Jack are waiting for the winds to pick up. Predict wind has forecasted more wind. Where's it at, predict wind? It's supposed to be 18 knots right now, and it ain't. It's uh, uh, 6.5, but it sure is nice. We've kited and foiled this morning. We went on a dive. Me and Kate and her friends went on a dive, and then we came back, did some more foiling. The day started about 6 o'clock this morning. It's been a great day. I got a sunburn. All of us are sunburned from yesterday being in the sun. We foiled all day yesterday behind the dinghy, so we're all practiced up. It's a great day, day to be alive. I know the sun's still in the clothes.